started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, playing a live game right now on Tai Jump. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, hope you guys are doing well in the middle of this uh, serious crisis where everybody has to stay home. It's very weird for everyone. But fortunately, we can still play Go online, so that's pretty good. I will have a, a game, an interesting game coming up uh, this weekend, and I will I will try to uh, broadcast, I mean not broadcast, but record it uh, with my comments. Um, it's, it's basically the game between... Uh, like a region in France and uh, and here uh, in Quebec, so uh, it is like a seven versus seven where each player is from a very different level. So we have uh, like a ten Q uh, versus ten Q, then seven Q versus seven Q. I don't really know exactly how it works. I still have to um, I still have to read about it. But it happens on Sunday, so I will uh, hopefully record uh, my game and then um, and then put it on my channel. So stay tuned. My opponent plays quite slowly, and it's uh, five minutes three times thirty seconds, Boyomi. So uh, my opponent decides to play a very, very traditional um, traditional way of just extending back. Um, here I can uh, play the 3-3 three, three Joseki. And I think I will go ahead and do it because um, because I've taught you know, I, I've talked about it in my Joseki series, and uh, um, probably a lot easier for my viewers to understand. So my opponent decides to block on this side, which is very interesting. I, I thought he would work on his uh, left side instead, but uh, he did not do that. So what I'm going to do is just uh, play out the Joseki. Um, he decides to um, just block me like this, um, which is okay. Uh, the reason he can do that is because he has a stone over here. So, when facing this kind of situation, um, first thing we need to check is um, is our opponent's weakness, right? He's supposed to extend, but instead he blocks. So first of all, we will um, make use of uh, that weakness a little bit, um, and then we'll see what we can do. By the way, climb myself to seven dan right now on Tai Jump, and I think I think even the seven dance on Tai Jump are not as strong um, as as in OGS is pretty much five dan is like a it's like a seven to eight dan. Um, so now he extends. If I just completely cut him off that's a very interesting idea so if you watched my last video you probably know that I talk about um, I talk about in go you should make your opponent's weakness and this is definitely a perfect example that shows that so I'm gonna go ahead and just um, So black can clearly not ladder me. Okay, this is not even ladder because when I turn, this goes with an Atari. 
The reason I drag myself out like this, okay, is it's because your opponent's weakness is um, is something really important. So here, I can either Atari here or extend down to protect my corner. This is uh, the, the two options that I'm thinking about. Um, Okay, if I extend into the corner, I obviously um, gain safety, but um, that means the outside. I think I'll just extend in the corner. I don't see any tactical uh, way to um, completely destroy black here. So for now, I would just stay alive and drag the game. So here we'll have to uh, keep pushing. <clears throat> and uh, we just we just need to first uh, drag our group out, uh, making sure this group uh, is safe, and then we can. Um, then we can look into Black's problems. We'll attach here. Uh, now Black cannot honey. If Black honeys, we have uh, the Atari here that will just completely kill uh, Black. And now we have a good Tasuji here that is to uh, attach. So whenever your opponent has um, a shape like that, uh, you can think about making that um, that attach, which is pretty pleasant. So now black is solid uh, on both sides, and and I need to make another move uh, to make sure that my group is fine. Uh, here there's really no problem here because if black wedges I can Atari from the outside. Uh, when you Atari here I can uh, even connect. Not to say I can just take your stone. So <clears throat> my position is uh, perfectly fine for now. I like this jump. It's cutting uh, me off as well as putting pressure on this corner. Uh, if it didn't do anything uh, there will be some problems over here. I will first kick, uh, secure myself the territory. So black decides to uh, just honey connect, that's fine. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump here uh, to make sure there's nothing in my corner. When black pushes here, I will uh, I think I will have to. Um, Overtime countdown has begun. I have to make a move here. So it looks like this move is not doing much, but uh, it was necessary to uh, keep my group uh, relatively safe. And now we can start. Uh, we can start working on somewhere else. So most of the games uh, with seven dance right now are um, quite difficult. Um, 
it's really about the precision. It's really about um, you know, it's it's not basic anymore, right? Like a lot of moves are hard to explain. Um, but I will try to do my best to um, review them as, as um, I, I guess um, I'll, I'll do them in the review um, uh, to extract the, the content you can understand. So, okay, that move I've never seen before. It obviously is looking at. Um, It's looking at to, uh, enclosing this entire thing, uh, which I cannot necessarily allow. So I'm gonna. Overtime countdown has begun. <clears throat> so I'm gonna look for some fights over here, uh, which immediately uh, breaks out into a fight. Okay, so we will um, jump here, because any Atari you make uh, is not really gonna help. In this kind of crosscut situation, and now I might be uh, in trouble because of my group here. So I'll have to play very strong here. All right, so I think I might end up sacrificing my group. Um, and hopefully get enough compensation with this this wall over here. I was not very sure about uh, basically about my uh, my idea here. Maybe it's a um, maybe it's not very well played. Um, Okay, so we got that exchange, uh, which is this honey versus this connect. So that's a good exchange. And now we will uh, start. We will sacrifice these guys because I now I cannot really connect. If I connect, blacks and push and cut, and I will die a lot more. So what I'm gonna do instead is to get compensations from elsewhere. such as uh, building a wall here, as I've talked about. So Black gained a lot of profits over here, uh, and now he's uh, he's keep going with this, uh, this profit, which... Uh, So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to rush to build anything here. I'm going to first pressure this corner, see what uh, Black's going to do here. So Black needs to respond to this corner, uh, otherwise this corner is dead. Uh, he needs to play moves uh, immediately if he wants to live. So this is a sente. That's uh, I have to respond. Otherwise, black turns here, and and now uh, if you watch my uh, life and death series, uh, this is absolutely uh, a life uh, for black. <clears throat> so I've lost quite some territory over here, and I'll try to gain them back uh, with this huge influence. Uh, no. What I'm gonna do is. Uh, Yeah, it's pretty obvious what I'm gonna do, right? This is this is the part I'm gonna I'm gonna work on. Um, it's quite quite a scary game moving on. Uh, what I don't like about my position is that there's still a lot of RG here that Black can Nine, use. Eight, so seven, six, five, four. So when facing the shoulder hit. Usually you would uh, push here or push here, 
but in my case um, I pretty much have to go for uh, the attack so now as we can see this this uh, stone is still at a very good position uh, for attacking so I will turn here to get rid of blacks roots uh, very important very important for Black to not live here locally uh, and uh, for him to struggle inside. Even if he lives, right? Uh, well, first of all, he needs to live. So we need to see how he's going to make that happen. So I don't know about these moves. I'm going to just. Atari and can uh, an extend here. Um, not too sure how black is gonna live inside. So, <clears throat> so here it's really about uh, life and death, and then these are all very very complicated life and death, and very complicated um, reading going on. Nine, eight, seven, six, Here my best move five, is probably just cap him inside. And he decides to um he decides to run the two stones. This one I will just extend. I'm not too worried about him attarring me because it doesn't do anything as you can see my bottom group is a hundred percent alive right we can all see that and then um, and then it comes down to and then it comes down to how this this whole thing is gonna live inside So the only worry I might have is, is this group being not alive, but I am just not too sure how how I'm gonna be not alive there. Okay, he makes a a squeeze here, which I'm gonna respond with uh, a bamboo shape, and then he decides to. Um, okay, he decides to kill my group. That is stressful. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's quite stressful when your opponent plays like that. Okay, let's let's just uh, make an ice base. It's probably a liberty fight inside, and uh, and hopefully I survive this one. I'm uh, not too sure how this is going to play out, but we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now this is the reading time. I'm looking at this attach. He's going to turn. I'm going to play this one. He's going to keep going. I take and then he cannot connect back home right so nine eight, so that's what I'm gonna do I will absolutely have to first make sure that uh, okay I, I don't I think he misread here uh, he thought he can get back but he can't really get back so that could be game over right here because black has no way out. This dragon is dead. Um, yeah, Nine, so black misread eight. here, it turns out. So reading is, is very, very important. Uh, this one I will... I will fix with... I still have to be careful here. So black can still try to manage to live here. Um, what's the best way for me to fix this Atari? Nine, eight, 
seven, six, I think my five, best way is actually to clean kill these four stones. So Black's extending to the first line is not going to be a sente. And now I obviously have to uh, reduce Black's ice space. So I'm not too sure how black uh, is going to live here. So um, still have to be very, very careful though. Um, so the best way I see is to play this one. Uh, that's where I need more time, right? So I wish I had more time to read Nine, things out. Eight. Seven, well, what I see six, right now is five, this peep is four, going to three, uh, do the two, job. One, zero, two overtimes left. So I have to be very careful here. Could I possibly just squeeze? But if he plays this one, if I play this one, how does Black live? Nine. I think this one kills um, instead of my... There's probably two ways to kill. One is to go here and here and maybe even uh, just take the vital point inside. Uh, it wouldn't be too... Um, yeah, it wouldn't be easy to live here. Um, and I think this one's going to do the job. <clears throat> So black needs to find a way uh, here to get out, but I really don't think there's any way to get out from here. Uh, it's not possible. So yeah, if everything goes well, I'm probably winning here. And now finally, uh, our opponent plays uh, this attach. These are always very dangerous moves. Um, that I need to respond very, very carefully. If I just play here, he's gonna play this one. I play here, he cuts, and I might be in trouble. So, nine. That's eight, being said. Seven, six, I should five, just uh, Kosumi myself, and that should be. I should be okay. So very, very uh, important for you to not just play no-brainer moves like turning. So I will, I will capture that in the, in the review. Uh, but these are always Nine, uh, eight, always places seven, where many players six, can just screw five, up four, uh, a good three, dragon kill. Two, one, zero, two overtimes left. But I still have problems, right? He can peep here. And uh, I need to deal with that. If I just connect, he's going to play this one. I think I can hold my position still though. So I'll connect here. He's going to push and then make a bamboo, right? That's that's the best way I see. Uh, and I don't think there's really anything here. Push. He cannot cut because I can uh, take these two stones with me. So. Nine, eight, seven. So yeah, six, I don't, I don't tactically like see four, a way for three, for Black to two. actually live here. Um, so the best he's gonna do is to squeeze here, and I, I will make a double tiger's mouth uh, to get myself out, and then uh, I have no choice. I have to um, have to play this. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. This is uh, all these are uh, forced moves. Uh, nothing I can do about them. And uh, now his last chance is probably peep here to make sure he can cut here. He cannot cut here because the ladder is working for me, right? We all can see that. And um, nine, eight, yeah. seven, six. Five, four, Let's see three, what kind of magic two, he can, he can one, do. Zero. Notice a fantastic thing is that Black's Atari here is not... Uh, 
this guy just won't stop. Can you please stop? Like, I'm just gonna... <laughs> this is always so scary, like... Black is trying different things everywhere on the board. Very annoying. <sighs> I'm worried about this, this thing here. If he plays this, I connect, he cuts. Nine. I play eight, this one, he seven, goes out. Six, the ladder five, still does not work, four, so I'm fine. I can defend like this. Should be fine. He's gonna hop out, which doesn't really pressure me, so instead I'm gonna actually go ahead and pressure him. Um And we're gonna make sure that there's nothing. Yeah, let's let's first secure the corner. Because when he plays the tiger's mouth and peep in, I don't know what if what is going on there. Uh, and all we're gonna do is to live our center, right? So and now he comes in uh, for weird things. Uh, if I play this one, yeah, there's still problems in the corner, I can't believe it. Okay, I'm just gonna kill Sumi, and maybe play another one. If he cuts, if he cuts, I can Atari from behind. Okay, so I'm gonna take the 2-2 vital point, and then connect myself. And there's no problem in the corner. He blocks that. I have to. I have to respond to that. Yeah. So I have no choice. I have to respond to that if I want to kill. And uh, and here he has a Tasuji that is to attach on the first line. Or he can even cut and then honey on the first line. That's his rights. But but the thing is, my corner still the gonna last live. Over time. Nine, the eight, reason being that seven, my six, second line squeeze five, is a sente. Four, three, two. So we're just gonna play this out. He's gonna honey on the first line, and then I'm forced to uh, basically take the stone. Right, so pretty sure you guys can all read that out. Okay, so finally Black decides to uh, stop struggling, and then uh, he's gonna try something out in corner. And I've talked about this corner in my life and death series. Uh, any, <clears throat> any very. Um, Conventional way is not gonna make black live. So black played very unconventional attach on the second line uh, And now he's putting out the final struggle Which is quite strong actually this is uh, something that I have to very carefully deal with so So here the first thing I still have to come out and when he extends, these are all forced. So I have to get out like this. You see, guys, in the, in the worst case, uh, what's going to happen is I will. Okay, this is getting more and more scary. I think I will. All what I need to do is to connect to these guys to these guys, if that's possible. Um, so I'm going to give it a try. And see if that is possible. So he's going to Atari me, and I'm going to Atari uh, back. Alright, so... And now we will... We will connect here. Still very complicated, right? You guys can see how how hard it is to actually 
kill a dragon, uh, your your opponent can put up all kinds of um, all kinds of uh, problems for you. So after a very nice sequence by me, I am able to connect everything here. So that's very nice. So what's going to end up happening is that I will have to go back and uh, and go for this uh, uh, go for this liberty fight. Uh, but as we can tell, that um, that black does not have much liberties. So so black decides to extend liberties uh, in the corner. So we will uh, make this sente first. And then what we're going to do is to make sure our corner is going to be alive by playing this one. Uh, we can all tell there's a snapback. And then uh, we're going to make ourselves alive like this. Uh, because this is... Um, this is basically the best move to squeeze Black's Liberty, right? If I play it on the other side, uh, it's not like the best uh, way to... I don't know why he played this one. Okay, let's just connect. <clears throat> so Black has a very... Uh, yeah, so he has to uh, first capture these guys, seal this site, uh, which means now I can finally connect myself here. Uh, this is a point that I absolutely want to extend my liberty. So guys, always remember, in a liberty fight, make sure your group is all like a stick. When you have a stick, your liberty is super long. Look at how many liberties I have. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. I have 12 liberties uh, in this area. So just to be safe, I'm going to start this capturing race. Uh, I am going to uh, start. I'm going to start this up and then make sure uh, I win this race. Uh, I'm going to capture these. And then, um, yeah, so here he can absolutely not win this because I have a lot of liberties. So I'm gonna, I'm going to play a move here. Yeah, I'm gonna just uh, start filling in. Doesn't matter the order, so uh, the thing about black is this is not really a square uh, that, that we're used to see. Uh, just to be safe, I'm going to connect myself here first uh, to make sure that uh, that I don't at some point get captured here. So uh, it's always worth a move. And we can obviously not let uh, Black live, so we're going to uh, throw in. So Black is not going to have enough liberties in this fight, unfortunately. Or very fortunate for me. Uh, very exciting game. I'm, I'm very happy to actually have a liberty fight uh, in my game uh, and uh, being able to show you guys a very, very fighting oriented game. Uh, I think I had no choice but to, uh, to um, kill Black there because that was my uh, base Moyo. And uh, after I win this game, I will. Uh, the I'll last overtime. Uh, you guys. Nine, eight. But yeah, this is uh, this is game over. <laughs> right, so I'm not gonna uh, play another move, uh, play another game. I will. Uh, how do I do? Right, I can review this. Right, so uh, let me first quit this so people don't invite me nonstop. Quickly review this game, guys. Uh, very very exciting game um, we'll go back to the beginning so uh, both sides played uh, very very standard um, Joseki except this blocking move I am not too sure about it 
uh, and uh, I always go ahead and just exploit my opponent's, opponent's weakness. I understand guys like it's not basic uh, and I, I do see videos online uh, where people you know try to make their videos basic you have been invited uh, they're just like they're just like you know what because my viewers are not there yet I'm gonna make basic videos but I in my channel I'm, I'm never gonna do that because I climb I climb myself to five Dan just by watching uh, 9p professional uh, people uh, commenting on games of professionals so they were never basics uh, and it's by it's by constantly absorbing those good uh, top player ideas that I was able to improve fast so this is why I will do it very differently than the other channels which is uh, I will never uh, go basics um, but but I'm pretty certain from my experience that you guys gonna learn a lot uh, from it. I just want to explain the uh, the rationale still. Uh, I cut here, black extends. It looks very dangerous. Like why were you throwing a stone in like this? Isn't this gonna get killed? Uh, the answer is yes. This is very dangerous. But just remember, uh, it was black's moyo outside to start with, right? So we're really what we're really trying to do is to create weakness, drag our group out, and in the meantime, destroy Black's Moyo. So that's the best way for you to destroy your opponent's Moyo. So let's just look at how I played. Right, as we can see, uh, now Black decides to play a Kosumi, uh, and uh, we extend out. Look like uh, we just dragged our group out. It doesn't have eye, it has to run. All these are true, but look at what happens. Black can never build Moyo here if my group is safe. So uh, that's the compensation I get for exploiting my opponent's weaknesses. Uh, and, and then we'll see the benefits in a bit. So Black uh, plays this one, and then as we can see, attach. Look, Black has to already uh, connect himself here, right? So if if my my opponent plays this one, uh, this is just a life and death problem, uh, or a capture problem, right? We can all see that uh, black will be captured. So when you have a shape like this, always exploit it. Uh, black has very tight liberties, so he has no choice. Uh, he should probably just uh, extend it like this. But in a game, uh, he basically he decides to. Uh, uh, play a very weird looking move. I wouldn't have played that move. He, he does not want my um, my M15 to be a Sente. Uh, okay, that's understandable. And then, uh, very very nice move from me. Uh, this is an excellent move. Uh, you might be, when you're watching, you might all be wondering, well, why can't Black just play this one, right? This is the most intuitive, uh, but, but why can't just cut here, right? So you have a weakness here. So even if you get this one, you still have to go back and fix this. Uh, and I mean immediately, right? You have to come back and fix, uh, and uh, and now I can ladder the stone. So I, I sealed black inside, and I laddered the stone. My group is super strong. Uh, what used to be black's moyo became white's moyo. So that's like your opponent's savings become your savings. Uh, so that's a very great thing for you. So this, which is why my opponent did not play uh, like this. Instead, uh, he played this one. But I just want to add that even if you don't Atari this one and you just go back, uh, this is still going to happen, right? My outside is still strong. This cutting point does not exist. Uh, and black is sealed inside. So black cannot allow that. Black played instead very, very correctly. Uh, black decides to honey uh, from the bottom so that's the correct move uh, and um, and I connect immediately but I wasn't sure if that's necessarily the best uh, maybe I should have played uh, like this and then like this uh, I am not too certain about that so um, yeah maybe I should have you have played. been invited Maybe I should have played uh, this move. Uh, that's probably my mistake. So if black plays this one, I still, it goes back to the same thing, right? So, which means black can, if black plays this one, I think I have this, uh, I have this thing. 
going on. Uh, if you play this, uh, I can already capture. No, I can't capture. My bad. Uh, I can't. Uh, maybe something like this, right? If black connects, I connect, and black connects. It's probably better like this. Maybe. Uh, I, I wasn't sure. Uh, instead, I did. Um, I connected here. Now, that's not the most important thing. I really like black's move, guys. If you just, if you just play uh, very passively, um, first of all, uh, I can play this move. That's the simplest move I can play, right? Not only connect myself, but also building a wall over here. As you, as we can see, white has all these to work on uh, later on. So this is a a very global move, a very a global point uh, not to say I even have more optimal solutions like this right this is aiming at uh, coming down at uh, age 17 but also just did everything I said so connect myself building a huge moyo uh, this is not what something that black can allow so black played very very correctly uh, that is to prevent that from happening uh, excellent move. I think that's probably the best move in the game. Uh, very, very nice. My group is still insecure, and then uh, my corner is pressured, and then there's no, absolutely nothing over here. Very, very nice. Um, and uh, and then I jumped here. So, so if you don't jump here, uh, let's say you play something else. I have to go to preview, but. If I play something else, there's always uh, this thing waiting for me. Uh, this is always a, a very, very annoying thing. Uh, but with this move, I've talked about it in my uh, life and death. Uh, so I will just uh, quickly, uh, or just quickly talk about what if Black still decides to uh, come into the corner. Uh, this is uh, just a life and death lesson uh, all over again. Uh, when black connects here, uh, always remember there's a Tsuji uh, to kill black locally. When you play this one, uh, white will come in. Uh, black's only hope is to block here, but white can just Atari. And then when black is trying to make a ko, white can uh, say, I refuse to do any ko, and uh, black cannot fill in from either side. So that's a life and death lesson for my viewers. Always, 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 when you encounter when you encounter um, this connect, and then you trying to fix your corner, best way is to jump here. Uh, that is to prevent this cutting point, right? So, <clears throat> excellent move by White. And then uh, let's keep going a bit. Uh, these moves are, are nice, and then we go into a fight. Uh, so here I really had to play very very aggressive. If I play like this, uh, that's game over, right? Like if I play like this, this is way too much territory for black. So that could not be allowed. So instead I played uh, very very aggressive here and then uh, another very aggressive, uh, trying to expand myself as much as I can. Uh, black does not really have a ladder here, right? So it doesn't matter how you ladder, it's not going to be ladder. So, uh, but I think Black should still Atari it a few times here before he uh, goes back and fix everything. Uh, I decide to fix that, that's quite nice. And then Black decides to uh, play this one, but that's a mistake because Black should always play more. Uh, because this move is really relaxing, right? Like you want to put max pressure onto your opponent, especially when you're this thick. Uh, you should definitely play out this one. Uh, then you can later on cut here uh, to make sure that uh, that you kill uh, white. You 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 get maximum uh, profits. So yeah, that's that's actually very very important. Uh, my opponent plays this one, but when you can when you can max out your profits, why not, right? In Go, you should always max out your profit. Never, never settle for less because uh, white white's group is super weak, right? You want to kill big here. 
So uh, I play this one, and then I was also uh, referring to if uh, if he plays this one, I can Atari first, and then I can connect. Uh, when you do the cut, uh, that's that's very unfortunate. Then uh, your group's actually going to be killed. So so which means a black pretty much has to take, and then I can get myself out like this. Which is why you have the... been invited. Ah, oh, stop that! It's so annoying. Which is why in the game, uh, Black decides to connect here. That's the correct move to play. In case you were wondering uh, what was going on there, uh, and then we played quite normally, and then we said this big L shape is totally alive. Black comes in, and then we had a fight. Uh, this is really uh, just. Um, I really don't like black sequence over here. I think he should have. I think he should have just uh, just get out first uh, and leave all these Argies, right? I was worried about this, but after these moves, my Argy is gone. So I was. It made it easier. Invited. It made it easier for me. I'm really sorry about these invites. Uh, it's really really annoying. Um, I'll find a way to uh, disable them at some point. Um, now, when you come out, I'm I'm, I'm already all like, uh, you know equipped it to kill you here. So that's probably why Black lost. So after these exchanges, uh, Black decides to go for that, and then here Black missed red, right? Like so. Uh, but I I I don't know how difficult it is for Black right now to actually live here. Uh, when you wedge, I have this one. Uh, is that even a good move to play? Right. So this is this is would be more complicated. I might have to uh, play something like this. And um, yeah, not sure how this is gonna. Oh, actually, this is a good move because now Black has to play this one. Uh, I can just crawl here, and uh, yeah, it's still very difficult for for Black moving on. So if you play this one, I'm not sure if Black has enough eye space. Very likely not. Uh, so at this point, it's already very very uh, difficult. But in a game, that's even more difficult because my opponent uh, played uh, misread here. Um, so so here, this is there's no connection. Uh, in case you're wondering why he didn't just do that, because I can uh, play this one. Looks like the code, but not really. I can just uh, I can just kill everything from here. Uh, the connect and die situation. So not not what is played, but look at how how hard is it, it is to actually kill everything. Right? It looks like everything is enclosed. How can this dragon even live, right? There's no way to live, but look at how much uh, reading you still have to do, how careful you still have to be when there's a dragon that is not confirmed to be killed. Uh, this is uh, this is just this is just go, right? Like uh, killing a dragon is super hard, uh, especially at, at 70, uh, 60, super super hard. Had I just uh, and I was talking about if I just, without thinking, uh, like this, right, big problems could happen, right? Even if I can still manage to hold, probably. Uh, but uh, this is, I mean, already this is getting complicated. Okay, he's gonna come out, he's gonna, he's gonna try to kill this, he's gonna try to kill the corner, and then you have to read a bunch. So, instead I played very correctly, uh, and then, uh, and then if black push and squeeze looks very uh, dangerous, but I can play like this, right? As you have seen in my game. So let's just look at the game. Uh, here, uh, black cannot cut. I can ladder. Um, so this cut does not work. You have been invited. If this cut does not work, um, that just means uh, there's nothing here. So. And now, uh, and then let's let's go back. I'm I'm so bothered by this uh, invite thing. I'm pretty sure there's something in the setting that easily allows me to uh, stop those invites, but I just did not do the work. Anyway, so 
uh, you see, Black is trying everything, right? Everything. Wherever he can kill, he wants to kill. Right? Comes in, wants to kill my corner. Look at how many stones I have. He still wants to kill it. Every step of the way, you have to be very, very careful. Uh, and then uh, he plays out this one, and then he tests my corner out. Uh, I, you know, all these I have to respond. And then, and then look, he doesn't stop, right? And attach, an excellent move. Uh, if I play like this, probably still works. Uh, but I mean, yeah, this is probably a safe way uh, to play. Uh, you guys should definitely play like this. Uh, this is uh, definitely the recommended way, right? If you do this, uh, I think why can't just live? And then this is uh, game over right there. So. Once again, guys, this is very, very hard to win a game uh, against a 7 Dan. Every step away, he tries to cut me. He connects, tries to cut me. These all forcing moves. And then he uh, cuts me off here. But I played very, very well. I first cut. If black extend, I will have this excellent wedge here. Uh, and, uh, and that's game over right there. So... So black has to uh, go back and fix that. And then I connect, right? Realize that you cannot play this, right? If you play this, that becomes a co. That's a real problem now. So do not go for the greed uh, when you cannot go for the greed. Uh, has to be based on calculations. I calculated it and I realized I have enough liberties to kill black. So, and the reason, and the reason is that look, uh, I have the nice Tsuji here, right? If uh, you don't know that this Tsuji and you play like this, then look, this might become very, very uh, chaotic now. He wedges here, I have no liberties, right? Check. How many liberties do I have left? Not much. All these I have to fill in. So, so very, very important to play out Tsujis. Otherwise, uh, otherwise it's not gonna work. And then Black plays a few moves. And then I lift my corner uh, with this move. That's excellent. So black now has to, uh, a me facing a me eye situation. If he plays this one, uh, I can come down like this. Uh, I can I can come in from this direction. Uh, this is not just uh, trying to extend liberties. I I don't think so. Uh, this is trying to kill black here. So so black cannot do that, right? Like if you play like this. Uh, this is a huge problem. Black uh, Black's group here is gonna die. So, so otherwise, otherwise, how you deal with uh, how you deal with that? If you play this one, uh, I can uh, push here, and then and then I think Black is just uh, uh, not to say White already extended a bunch of liberties. Now he can grab this back, uh, grab a few liberties back as well here. Uh, and then as I will still win the Liberty fight. So that's why at this point it's probably uh, just uh, game over right here. Uh, he had to fix this. And then uh, that, that's my winning move, guys. If you don't play that winning move, you're not going to win. Uh, you're probably going to lose right there. Uh, regardless how well you played uh, previously. Let's say you just, uh, you just started like this. Black wedges. No Liberties left. Uh, look at how your liberties are reduced. One, two, three, and then you already start to connect, connect, and you won't kill black because there's a lot of common liberties. Black has an eye here. Uh, not gonna work out, guys. So my winning move, connecting my uh, group, getting myself lots of liberties. And then uh, that's just a liberty fight, and I was winning uh, by a lot of liberties. I have uh, four liberties. Uh, black only had one liberty left, so uh, very very important to connect your uh, your group into a stick uh, when you are trying to do a liberty fight, right? The stick has the most liberties. If you think about it, right? A stick like this always a lot of liberties. Uh, a stick like this, tons of liberties. Uh, always always make your group into a stick when you try to fight a liberty fight. That's the best uh, shape you can have. Uh, so if black now takes, I can throw in again. This is only one liberty. So uh, that's just a winning game um, for me. All right, so I hope you guys learned something from this game. Uh, this is a very, very interesting game. 
uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more games like that and especially stay tuned for um, a recording on Sunday um, against uh, the French team uh, that's that would be a very very exciting game moving on all right for now thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time